What is going on to all my Severance fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new Severance video and this isn't a review. This is a theory slash prediction video before this week's finale. I love this show. I can't stop thinking about it and I got some wild theories that I want to share with you all and of course as you would imagine we're talking spoilers but before we dive into it make sure you're checking me out on all my other social media accounts. If you're new to the channel and love early movie reviews, TV breakdowns, and live streams well come and join the community by subscribing and hit that notification bell. As you all can see on the screen now, if you enjoyed this theory video, well make sure to give it a thumbs up and also share it. But more importantly, I wanna know your theories, your crazy predictions, your unanswered questions that you want to be answered in this week's finale. Let's talk about it in the comments below. So before we get into my predictions, I wanna invite you all to a waffle party. <laughs> I wanna invite you all to a watch party. It's something I do on this channel very frequently for favorite shows that I enjoy. And if you all aren't familiar with a watch party, is no I won't be playing the episode on the YouTube live because obviously it will get pulled down but essentially I'm going to be playing it on my TV you're going to press play at the same time we're going to watch it as a community and I don't know if you all know this but, and I don't know why Apple does this they advertise their shows that premiere the new shows they premiere on Fridays that's not the case spoiler alert they actually drop the episodes Thursday evenings for me it's 8 p.m. central time so for this waffle party aka watch party we're going to go live here on this channel at 7 30 p.m central time so 30 minutes before the episode premieres and for those 30 minutes we're gonna have some fun we're gonna dance we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a good time but no we're gonna talk about favorite episodes favorite characters favorite moments of course any other theories we have before we see the finale together so again waffle party watch party 7 30 p.m central time this thursday april 7th don't forget to bring a knife, a fork, and your serb. I'll see you all there this Thursday. So let's get into predictions. The theory starting off with our favorite supervisor, Harmony. And we're going to discuss her loyalty, not only to Egan, but also Mark and her disloyalty towards Natalie and the board. But let's talk about last week. So we saw her hugging Mark. She was very happy for Mark quitting his position, which for a split second, I thought to myself, maybe she's not as evil or villainous as the show has made her out to be. But then the more I thought about it, I'm like, no, this is the same person that went to Petey's funeral and took a chip out of his head with his daughter and family in the next room. So yes, she's, she's pretty bad. But more in particularly, I mentioned in my review last week, I think that Harmony had something to do with Gemma's death. Now, when I said that, I said maybe she wasn't directly involved. It was an accident, and it could go one of two ways. If it is the accident, it might explain why she's so invested in Mark, why she's so, like, checking in on him, living next door, helping out his sister with her newborn child. So I'm like, maybe she feels bad. She wants to bring Gemma back, and this is her invest, you know, this is why she's so invested in the program, in the chip, in Mark. And then the other side of that, going back to her going to someone's funeral, taking the chip out of his head, being an ethical and being just a terrible person, maybe she is bad, but not so much bad to the sense that she is just so devoted towards what they're doing day to day, but in particularly, she's so devoted to Egan. Now, I don't think Kira Egan is dead, and we all know he's the original CEO that was the CEO for, I want to say, 1835 to 1939, correct me if I'm wrong on those dates, but I don't think he's dead. More or less, I think that they were able to find a way to take his consciousness and maybe put that consciousness in each and one of those CEOs. And that might explain why she is so invested into this program. And maybe she has someone close to her that she wants to bring back. As someone brought up in my video last week, as you can see on the screen now, what an incredible comment. But look at that last paragraph. This person brings up, what about that Charlotte person? What if that is her mother? What is that maybe her sister? And maybe she wants to use this program to bring them back back. So let's talk about Harmony. Is it that she was involved with Gemma's death? Why is she so loyal to Keegan? What is this obsession with this company? Is she trying to bring someone back? Is she good? Is she bad? Let's talk about your thoughts on all that in the comments below. But let's transition to one of my favorite characters. That's Irving. And as we found out last week, he has a dog, but he also paints all the time, which explains why he's so tired at work, which let's get into the discussion here. As we all know, you don't sleep on the job, but in particularly when you work for Lumen. Now, I think it's safe to say, and it's been confirmed in this previous episode, when you sleep on the job, you start to, and this goes back to him finding the dirt in his fingernails, him seeing the goo in his hallucinations. When you fall asleep at Lumen, your consciousness starts to think about 
your outer self? What does that person do on the outside? So I think it's safe to say that maybe Irvin's going to put two and two together and he's going to tell the team in the, the department, the mind department, hey, maybe we should take a nap together and maybe we can start to put the pieces to the puzzle there. So I think it's safe to say you don't suppose to sleep at Loom because that is a weakness in the chip that you can start to plug in. Oh, this is the person outside and that outside stuff starts to leak into your thoughts at work. Let me know your thoughts there, but also in particularly what he does outside the painting why is he so interested in that painting and which speaks to the whole Gemma thing and the testing floor has Irvin been on the testing floor did he used to work in that department I have another theory about that later but let me know your thoughts on that about the whole falling asleep at work you start to put the pieces to the puzzle of what you do on the outside and did Irvin did he work in that department that we're going to get into here in a little bit let me know your thoughts on all of that and is that a weakness in the chip let's talk about that also before I move on going back to Bert, where is he? Where has he been? What has he been up to? Will we see Irving when he wakes up after Dylan turns on the switch and he is his any wakes up to his Audi? Will he be seeking Burke on the outside? Let me know your thoughts there. And will we get Burke in the finale? I love those two. Let's talk about that. But moving on, in particularly about the chip, and more in particularly going back to what Dylan did last week. Now we all know we saw Dylan, he's going to the program, and there are other protocols that was brought up on the screen we all know about the overtime program and the protocol but let's talk about some of the ones that you all can see on the screen now you see other protocols by the name of beehive branch transfer clean slate elephant freeze frame glass coal goldfish a lullaby and open house so some of these i have no idea what they mean like i don't know what a beehive mean or a lullaby or open house but i can make an assumption about some of these for example let's talk about the obvious one branch transfer which i think is safe to say is something that happens when you want to assign your audi to another department which brings me to maybe that protocol was put in place for characters such as irving maybe he worked Worked on that testing floor which we'll talk about a little bit later also I think it's safe to say clean slate is when they can like wipe your memories clean completely which that would be a cliffhanger if we if the group is starting to figure things out and that milkshake or Natalie presses that button and then they literally forget everything they just discovered that would suck but hey maybe that's something that will happen uh, I think freeze frame means you can literally <laughs> free someone in motion so that might be something we can see in the finale again very interesting protocols, very interesting things. Do you think any of those protocols will be seen in this finale or maybe in season two? Let me know your thoughts and predictions and theories about some of those other ones like Elephant, Safe House, Open House. What, what are we getting into? Let me know your thoughts there. But let's talk about that testing floor and particularly Miss Casey, a.k.a. Gemma. Now, going back to the connection of Gemma and maybe Irving in the painting that he continuously drew, which is the exact same elevator, same wall, same look, same design that he draws on his painting. Has he been to the testing floor? And more particularly, what is the testing floor? Are they bringing back the dead, as I mentioned, with maybe, you know, Harmony and her mom or sister or someone close in her family she's trying to bring back. Maybe Egan Kieger is, Kier is down there himself. Maybe Irving was down there. Maybe he was a part of the program, and we know that he sleeps on the job, so maybe they transferred him to the department that he works in now because he was sleeping on the job. So what is it exactly they're doing with someone like Gemma? Is it really her? Is it a clone? Is it a robot? Let me know your thoughts on the testing floor and, the, and what exactly are they doing on the testing floor. Let's talk about that. And the last one I want to bring up, Heli in the big reveal. Now, I said it in my review last week. I think Heli is a daughter or a key member of Lumen. We said it last week when she is, her Audi is at the gala that we assume with her, you know, her hair and makeup. Some people think that she might be at Rickon's book party. I think she's at the gala, especially with her blue earrings, the blue carpet, the blue theme that we saw with the new sign. I think she's there and I think that she is actually a key component of Lumen. And for me personally, I know some other people theorize that she might be a journalist or investigating Lumen. She wants to bring them down for her own reasons or that she thinks is an evil company. That sounds interesting, but like I said in my review last week, from a writing perspective, a dynamic of a character, I think it would be more compelling if her Audi was someone that loves Lumen, that loves the Severance program, that is devoted to the company, might have, again, her dad might be, you know, the current CEO, or maybe uh, Kier, you know, Kier himself. 
versus her being this investigator. Because again, if she's an investigator wanting to shut down a company and her any wants to shut, shut down a company, it's two of the same plots. I find it more compelling that her Audi loves the company. She's devoted to the company. She's invested in the company. She is a part of the company and her, you know, any doesn't want to be a part. That to me is more of a conflict uh, versus the other way around. So I think Heli is no doubt a, a, a big person involved in Lumen and it, it's, it's a big reveal. It's a reveal that we know is coming because we've seen, we know what Mark does on the outside. We know now what Irving does. We know that Dylan has a son, which we don't know if he's a good dad, bad dad, if he has other kids or a wife, but the only person that we haven't seen is Heli. So I think that is a big reveal that she will be a big player of Lumen and she might even be a family member of Egan themselves. So let me know your thoughts there. As far as any other things that we might not get answers for, and I think we might get more of this in a season two plot. For example, what is it exactly they do? They know they have the numbers, there's goats. I don't know if we're going to get the, the like straight up confirm answer. This is what Lumen does. I don't think we're going to get that in the finale. I think that's going to be more explored, or at least other departments will be explored in season two. What about the scientist, the surgeon that we met a couple ep episodes ago? Regabi. What is Regabi up to? Last time we saw her, she killed the head of security. She took care of the body, but are we going to get more of that plot? Are there other surgeons that have escaped and want to shut down this program and want to give all the dirty secrets to Lumen? I think that's something more to explore in season two. And of course, the senator and the whole kind of anti-severance programs out there. We really haven't gotten more of that plot so I think that that's something to explore in a season two so I don't think we'll get all the answers but I think we'll get some big ones coming this week so hey those are some of my crazy predictions and theories that I hope that we get to see in this week's finale like I said I hope you enjoyed this video I again want to invite you to the waffle party we can have our dance section like we do play some jazz uh, but no we will come and join the watch party again this Thursday April 7th at 7 30 p.m central time we're going to cry. We're going to laugh. We're going to have a good time. I don't know why we're going to cry. Maybe because we're going to cry because we're sad that it's going to be ending. But I want to invite you all to have a good time and, and watch this finale with me live. And again, if you want, I'll give you the link. You can come to the stream. We can have a person-to-person, -person, face to face conversation. So again, hope you all can join the live watch party waffle party this thursday again thank you for watching this breakdown video and theories again share yours in the comments if you enjoyed it make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up sharing it leaving your theories and predictions in the comments below and of course subscribe and hit that notification bell come and join the community hope you enjoyed this video hope you're staying safe as you can see on the screen now subscribe to the channel check out my other content we'll catch you on the next video